Hi there and thanks for logging on to Hoo-Ha Sports today. I know most of you Premier League fans are wanting to know what's new on the transfer market, especially Spurs fans as I found out on their chat forum that they are feeling anxious about news linking exits of their key players such as Luka Modric, Sandro, Aaron Lennon and now even Gareth Bale because he apparently mentioned that if Modric leaves, he wants to follow suit. We'll look at that by the time the show is done but it is news from a little south of Tottenham as a giant killer emerges as a threat in the quarterfinals of the Women's Wimbledon Championships. And she goes by the name of Svetlana Pironkova. We may need to revisit to clarify the pronunciation, but she took headlines, well, sort of, because Pironkova was one of two who knocked out both William girls from the tournament yesterday. So it was the defeat of Venus and Serena that took the headlines rather than the victories for Pironkova and Marian Bartoli. If that's not shocking enough, it's back on the saddle again to hunt for a Grand Slam win for world number one Caroline Wozniacki who was dumped out by Dominika Chibulkova. Let's look at who survived and will feature in the quarterfinals of the ladies' draw. Wozniacki started off with a 6-1 first set win. Then she was stretched in the next two as Chibokova fought back with a 7-6 and 7-5 win. Venus bowed out in a straight sets loss of 2-6 and 3-6. And ironically, the only other time that Pironkova beat the elder Williams was at Wimbledon in the quarterfinals last year by the exact scoreline. While the younger Serena also suffered a straight sets loss to Francis Marian Bartoli. In my opinion, Victoria Azarenka is the dark horse as she continues with another straight sets win. While as predicted, Sabine Lisicki adds another page to her fairy tale with a 7-6, 6-1 victory over Petra Chetskova. 8 seed Petra Kvitova progressed by defeating Janina Wigmeyer, while Austria's unseeded Tamira Paschak also booked her place in the last eight. And last but not least, Maria Sharapova huffed and puffed and grunted her way to a straight sets victory over China's Peng Shui and features in the last eight at Wimbledon for the first time in four years. Well, um, I'm in the quarters here for the first time since 2006, so I think that's definitely a step forward, but I think I want to be even better, absolutely. I want to keep improving, and I still feel like I can. But all jokes aside, Sharapova could well feature in the finals. Today, she's up against Chibulkova. Well, this one should be interesting. The German versus Le French. Is there another page to add to Sabine's fairy tale? My other finalist pick is Victoria Azarenka, and she should not have any problems overcoming Tamera Paschek, while Svetlana Pironkova meets Petra Kvitova. So, is it a silent T so as to pronounce it as Svetlana? Well, listen to this Bulgarian commentator as he talks us through the winning point. Фантастичният форхен слайс даде това, което чакахме от години. Свети Пиронкова от страни световната номер 2 и направи история за българския тенис. Право Цвети, победа с 6-2, 6-3 срещу Уинас Уилямс. И днес на Уимбълдън изгря новата звезда на България. 15 хиляди души поздравяват на крака Цвети Пиронкова. Страхотен успех за нашата тенисистка. Аз, аз ще се побъркам. Цвети? Really? I bet she was. And what's that? Us, us, us. He was shouting about what maybe Bo- what Borat revealed could be true. Well, over at the men's draw, there were upsets, but nothing major as the top four seeds all made it through to the quarters. Nadal and Federer dropped their first sets of the tournament but were eventual winners, while Djokovic and Murray had straight set wins over French opposition. Marty Fish and Joe Wilfred Songa booted out single digit seeded players Thomas Burdich and David Ferrer. And just like the women's last eight draw, the men's will also feature two unseeded players after Feliciano Lopez and 18 year old Bernard Tomic defeated Lucas Cabot and Xavier Malise respectively. And looking at the quarter-final draw, it certainly looks like it will be a seeded 1-2-3-4 in the semis. Nadal will probably face Murray if they manage to get past Fish and Lopez, while Federer could beat Djokovic if the former world number one gets past Joe Wilfred. And an interesting one to watch will be will be Djokovic going up against the 18-year-old. Now that's plenty and we will certainly bring results from the women's quarterfinals tomorrow. A little bit on the Premier League transfer news. In the last 24 hours, Spurs have been heavily involved in the transfer market but it's more about players moving out rather than moving in which has made it clear to its fans that unless they offload players 
they will not be acquiring anyone. And after yesterday's rumoured move of Aaron Lennon by Liverpool, Spurs player of the season Gareth Bale has apparently dropped a bombshell. He said if Modric leaves, he wants to leave too. According to reports like this one from The Bleacher, the news came from a Mirror Football update which apparently quoted Gareth as saying if Luca goes elsewhere, he will ask for a move away from North London. What's interesting is that he didn't say a move away from London, but away from North London. Because there are ripples through the grapevine that Chelsea's new manager, Andres Vyash Bosch, is planning an audacious double scoop for Modric and Bale, where Roman Abramovich is set to test Harry Redknapp's and Daniel Levy's resolve with a huge bid. Among the Spurs fans, I read that they accept a 20 million bid for Aaron Lennon as a good deal. But if Modric and Bale leaves, it will crush them. Nothing official, so no point losing sleep over that. But there are some other movements on the fringes. Liverpool are set to make a combined bid of 26 million pounds for Blackpool's Charlie Adam and Aston Villa Stuart Downing within the next 24 hours. But some Red fans are unhappy with the signing, saying that Liverpool need more metal, someone in the same category as Raul Mirelesh. And Manchester United are on the verge of signing their replacement for Edwin Rendesar, with Atletico Madrid's David Gia undergoing a medical test before they sign him on for about £17.7 million, while his fellow Spanish under-21 teammate, fresh from the Euro Championship win, Thiago Alcantara of Barcelona, is also on uh, Fergie's radar with an estimated offer of around £15 million. It's slowly heating up and it's only uphill with the transfer market from here on, so we'll keep you posted as they develop. So join me again tomorrow. Until then, from the team and I, at Wuhan Sports, it's bye for now.